Hello, my virtual friends. My name is Catherine, also known as Miss Blue, and welcome to Oasis. Now, this terrifying image here is about a. This terrifying image here shows a plane crashing to the ground, which is based on uh, the developer's grandfather who went down on the day of their child's birth, I believe. That's what the HDO page said, at least. So, let's get into it and hopefully save ourselves from dying a little bit. Arrow keys to move and uh, space to boost, apparently. Someone called Kubrick, and uh, they want uh, Kubrick called. They he wants his space Odyssey sequence back. God, that was a terrible joke. Anyway, whoa. All right. Uh, okay. There was a flash of letters there, and I couldn't quite read it. So hopefully we'll get back into it again. Maybe. Not pressing anything. There's something down there. I can see that. Oh. Whoa, hello game! Yay! We're in a euphoric land, let's just fly and spin around a couple times. Whee! All is well now, and we're not crashing at all. Down we go, whoa, okay, this is weird. Boost, faster, faster, let's go to the clouds. Okay, now down, let's see what's below the, below the cloud layer, let's go. Soar to the ground! Oh, you don't, you go down when you press down. Oh geez, through the white. Ah, I'm spinning out of control here. Oh, hi, giant hands. Let's just fly across you to look cool. Hang on. Need to get the angle perfect for this. Ah, space, there's the boost. Ah, it's not a hole. Is it space and hold or it's just... Oh, space on occasions, I get you. That is what a boost is anyway, all right. Ah, the angles are so weird and so stuck, honestly. Okay, turn and then left. All right, good. I have no idea what is going on here. It did say it was in 1969 as well, so you can probably guess why it's all euphoric and crazy looking. That's for sure. But still a gorgeous looking game nonetheless. The colors are like just vibrant and stark and it's wonderful. Not not all the way to like gaudy levels, but it's certainly something. Very uh, Ninglis Winding Refn uh, style with his like stark colors and things like that. Uh, certainly, probably not the psychedelic aspect of it, but still. Let's just keep going down, I suppose. See where that takes us. Through the cloud layer into oblivion. I think it was indeed into oblivion. Never mind. Uh, turn. Where are we now? Under the map, apparently. Okay, then. Do we keep going through the map, actually? Uh, I guess this is where our journey ends here. Let's get the perfect shot. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. My grandfather's plane was reported lost in 1960 during the Algeria Independence War, days before the birth of his first child. This is what I like to think happened to him. He went on a psychedelic drug trip and flew around the world a little bit. Cool. Is that the end of it? Ah, that is indeed. I saw there was more, more environments to play in, so let's hope we can get a different colored one. Like, instead of the pink one, there's like oranges and yellows and things like that. So let's have a C, shall we? I hope so. Through the colorful stargate we go into a color into a into the vibrant ob oblivion. Yeah, whoa. Oh, this is my favorite so far. Look at the blues. Oh, this is so cool. So we pretty much just fly around like this. Whoa. The environments are so cool. Let's just keep exploring through this one. And uh Let's see if there's actually any other ones. I'm pretty sure there's like a other colored ones as well. But the fingers are waterfalls. Oh, let's fly through one. Ah, quite quick. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I do like this game a lot. This is very cool. Oh, my favorite cut. Oh dear. I didn't mean to crash. Oh, past the giant flowers. Whoo. Almost ended myself there. Back up we go. A more sensible height won't uh, crash into the ground quite so terribly this time. We can just barrel roll our way into elegance. Exactly what we can do. This is nice. The music's very cool in this one as well, actually. Let's listen to it. Nice, nice tranquil 80s beat, I guess. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, I do like this game a lot. It's a name and price tag game, which, which I think is more than fair. This is very cool. I like this a lot. I'm a sucker for pretty games, and this is a very pretty game. 
So I imagine that if you've got some time to spare, you can just boot up this game and just have a little fly. And then all should be well. You can just waste a little bit of time just barrel rolling and almost crashing a couple times and then flying through the bottom of the map maybe as well. Either way. You'll have a good time with this one, I think, as I am having a great time with this. Alright, so, I suppose then, do we just crash to move on, or to the next uh, level? Or to ne another level? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we just get a limited amount of time, actually. No, I did actually crash into the ground. Whoopsie daisy. Uh-oh. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, okay then. Let's go again and see what other uh, colored delights we have to see. I wonder what it's called. I get actually no. I was gonna say why is it called Oasis, but it's kind of obvious now when you think about it. Sort of, I guess. Either way, here we go into the rainbow vortex once again to be met with orange, yellow, red, pink, green. Oh, we had pink already. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Okay. Right. Um. Hello. This is my ning. Okay. We're in the black realm now, with the colored sky ever changing above us. Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. This is amazing. I love this so far. Actually, it's kind of more dark violet than black, but doesn't matter. Sort of an inky darkness coming up there. The hands thing? I have no idea. It's probably just an only God forgives type thing. He has an obsession with hands, don't question why. Let's fly in and around these things, take a look-see. Whoa, this is cool. I can't gush about this so much, I just love these kind of things. Just so abstract and just unique. That's what I love about these kind of games. What's the love about Itchio and Game Jolt? Just the unique games that can be on show here. The fact that I get to play them, because I can look for them now, instead of just like the stuff I just look at and be like, ah, oh, that looks cool, I'll just get it. Or the stuff I just know of, because they're big titles. Uh, playing indie games, man. You get to do stuff like this. And that's amazing. All right then, shall we do it? Fly into the darkness, into the inky darkness we go. I'm coming for you, Bendy. Don't mind. Wouldn't that be crazy to actually just a crash plane in the next chapter of that game? Oh, I can't wait for that to come out. It looks so good. Either way, there's so much like stuff happening like game-wise. Like Red Dead's coming out in August. Then I, whoa, I last two in April. It's gonna be amazing. Wow, I think I crossed into the, the other region. There's so many colors. We were lacking them before. I have no idea if I'm getting closer to that or not. Yep, we're, we are apparently under the earth. Don't question why, we just are. Into the colorful vortex once again. If I'm getting closer to it or not, I cannot tell. Away with us, into the void. So yeah, that's what happens when you crash a plane, <laughs> apparently. Either way, that was Oasis. Let us end that there, in fact. I will I will explore the other uh, environments in my own time, but you guys should definitely go and do that as well because, holy God, this game is gorgeous and I love it to bitch. It's just, it's just a fun little thing to just run around or up, fly around in, in fact. It's a little sandbox almost of colorful madness, basically. So go ahead and go get it. It's in, I'll leave the link in the description. It's on itch.io. Totally worth it. This game is awesome. I love it to bits. Either way, enough gushing. Let's just end it there. Thank you all so kindly for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.